Climate change is one of the most important political trends to this day. It is long-term change in global or regional climate patterns, especially a change due to increase in the average atmospheric temperatures. Climate change affects everyone and everything living on this planet. Climate change is causing sea levels to rise, seasons to shift, and oceans to increase in temperature, threatening ocean life. Dangerous extensive droughts have risked crops, wildlife, and fresh supplies. Earth's life's diversity is in danger due to climate change and is rapidly altering the land that we survive on. Climate change is a political issue, not just an environmental one. It is one of the most important political trends to, the, to this date. People will have to permanently relocate. Farmers will struggle to get a fair price for their crops in developing countries who did not contribute to the amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. will now be at, at an even greater disadvantage when it comes to dealing with the effects of climate change. There are many social impacts of climate change that can really affect the way we live. Climate change can also badly affect what's underneath the ocean's water. Coral reefs are one of the most important ecosystems that have been greatly threatened by climate change. Global ocean temperatures that are constantly rising have stressed the coral reefs, causing them to lose algae, which results in coral bleaching. Coral reefs are one of the most diverse ecosystems in the world. Directly, coral reefs have provided us with the income, including millions of jobs in over hundreds of countries in the world, food, and people living near coral reefs, especially on small islands. Protection as a natural barrier protecting coastal cities, communities, and beaches, and medicine for treatments for many of the world's most dangerous illness and diseases. Despite their great economic and rhetorical value, coral reefs have severely threatened by are severely threatened by pollution, disease, and habitat destruction. <coughs> the ocean absorbs approximately one third of the atmosphere's excess carbon dioxide, resulting in a more acidic ocean. This is caused by human activities such as burning fossil fuels. If we don't stop producing carbon dioxide at this at the current rate, future atmospheric carbon dioxide will be high enough to lower its surface pH to 7.8 by the year 2000 and 1000. Royal Society 2008 cited that. Ocean adification slows the rate of coral reefs creating calcium carbonate which delays the growth of coral skeletons. Ocean adification is the ongoing decrease of the pH of the Earth's oceans. As climate change continues, coral bleaching will become more and more common, and the overall health of corals reefs will weaken substantially. <coughs> climate change has a great deal of historical significance. According to NASA, the Earth's climate has changed throughout history. Just in the last 65,000 years, there have been a cycles of glacial advance and retreat with an abrupt end of the last ice age about 7,000 years ago, making the beginning of the modern climate era and a human civilization. The change in global regional climate patterns has shifted our seasons and altered our weather. Climate change is an ongoing process created by humans' activities causing distress to our coral reefs, putting them at risk for extinction. Coral bleaching is the polyp under stress, losing its agile pigment pigmentation. If coral bleaching continues, the defenseless coral reefs will perish from harmful diseases. Hundreds and thousands of species live in the coral reefs, and they are the most crucial ecosystem in our planet. Without the coral, the amount of carbon dioxide in the water would rise dramatically and would affect all living things on Earth. <coughs> it is a priority to help reduce coronal dioxide emissions, dispose of trash properly, and conserve water 
in any product that is eco-friendly and won't pollute our oceans. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.